the glasses as of late, go over to the vlog channel. There'll be a vlog coming up kind of explaining what's going on. Or Snapchat. Okay, onto the video. Hey guys, my name's Kelsey. Hey, my name is Becky. And we're the Star Girls. And today we have an amazing Mother's Day DIY for you. It's kind of a themed package all based around watercolor and baking as well because we're inspired by the mother of all baking on YouTube, How to Cake It, which is Yolanda Gamp. Over on her channel, she did an amazing Mother's Day cake, which is like so exciting for us because we get to try it later in the video. She sent us with some. And you might even see one of our DIYs over in her video. So we encourage you to go check her out and subscribe. You will absolutely love her. Of course. And we're going to get on to our video on how to do these super cute watercolor DIYs for Mother's Day. To make these ombre baking spoons, you'll need multi-surface non-toxic paint, which allows your spoons to be washed after. Our spoons were raw wood from the dollar store, but if yours have a shiny coating or are a bamboo, you'll want to sand the handle first. We placed a piece of tape around the handle approximately where we wanted our ombre to end. You can use three different shades like we did, or you could slowly add white to a color to create a gradient. Start with your darkest shade and paint it onto the bottom. Mix it with the next lightest shade and blend the two shades well. Slowly add more and more of your next color to create a seamless ombre. Once we've fully transitioned into the middle color, we slowly started to add in the white until we reached a full white. Blend the white into the wood for that watercolor effect. Once you're done, you'll have amazing custom ombre spoons. For the watercolor recipe box, we're starting with this raw wood box from the craft store. We're using regular watercolor and a damp paintbrush to brush on our color. Make sure you place similar colors together so that they blend nicely. Whenever you want the edges of the colors to blend better, add some water and brush the colors together. We chose to leave some parts of the box natural wood, but you could definitely color the whole box if you wanted to. Let the box completely dry once you're done, and then we're going to add on a label. We used a silhouette machine to cut out the word recipe on some sticky vinyl, but you could just as easily hand cut this as well with an X-Acto knife. Stick the stencil down on the front of the box and paint over it with some opaque paint. Once it's dry, peel off the stencil and then we coated the entire box with some Mod Podge for a shiny finish. For the inside, we're using some standard cue cards to write our recipes on and we cut out some dividers on some pink cardstock. To make this gorgeous watercolor apron, start with a plain white apron you should be able to easily find at any home goods store. Since we're working with such a large area, we're only going to wet small areas at a time using a sponge. Use your regular watercolor paint and some water to paint on a watercolor design. Group similar colors together for easy blending. Sponge on more water when you're ready to move on to your next area. We covered most of the apron with color, but you could definitely choose to only do parts like the pocket or just the bottom. We left a small space white at the top so we could add some text later. We also faded the color into the straps as well. Once you're done with the color, you'll need this product called Fabric Medium. It essentially turns any paint into fabric paint. We've linked it below for you. Mix a 2 to 1 ratio of fabric medium and water, so we put in 8 spoonfuls of water and 4 spoonfuls of fabric medium. Mix well and paint this all over the top of your watercolor. Let your apron dry completely for 24 hours. To add on some sweet pastel words, you'll need to cut out a stencil out of some freezer paper by either using a silhouette machine or by following the tutorial linked above. We chose the words Mama Bakes for our baking moms. Iron your template into place and don't forget to add in the centers of any letters. At this point, you'll also want to iron the entire apron to heat set the paint. This will stop it from bleeding in the wash. Next, using some teal fabric paint, paint over the stencil. Peel off your freezer paper and let the paint dry. And your awesome watercolor apron is all done. Time to get to baking, or gifting this to your mom. So, oh, don't shake it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <gasps> They're so pretty! I don't know if you guys can see, but these are kind of watercolor esque, on, very on theme to what we did. And look these at this. are actually cakes, but they look like chocolates. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. If you want to know how these were made, go over to Yolanda's channel, check this out. You will absolutely love her and you will love these. You'll love her personality. She's just like so funny. <laughs> if you guys have yet to subscribe to Yolanda, 
please go check her out. Tell her we say hi in the comments and we would love that. And if you're here from How To Cake It, welcome to the family. We do DIYs and I know you will love them. <laughs> yes, uh, make sure you subscribe so that we can see you here more often. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure that you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Bye. Bye.